Let's knock out a pizza. Now, one thing I want you to see at the moment, Dave, if you come in, my mate Dave's just getting a close up here. One of the points of the wood oven is as you sort of stoke it with logs, you see the fire licking up the top of the dome, right? 60 centimetre dome inside here. You've got this fire. I always push the fire to the side so it gives you full depth. The fire is coming up over the top and it's almost like a grill. We can cook a pizza in there in a minute, minute and a half, two minutes, depending on your temperature. It's screaming. You can cook a sardine in a minute and a half. Crispy skinned all over. Garlic, olive oil, parsley, lemon zest, shh, beautiful. So let's cook a pizza. I'm gonna do a really bog standard, simple pizza. I've got some dough here. Um, the great thing about the oven is because it's handmade, because it is thick, uh, and because it's properly made, it's gonna maintain that temperature for way, way longer. Pizza peel here, a little bit of flour. I'm gonna put my pizza on there, like that. You don't wanna overload your bases. Go easy on the toppings. Less is always better. So one, two, three. Little waves of bacon. Always put oil on woody herbs before they go anywhere near a pizza. Then it's gonna kind of transfer all those beautiful flavors. Us humans have sort of lost the instinct and patience with controlling fire, okay? So, oh, just turn the button on, you know, just run and go, run and go, run and go. And of course, these come into their own in the holidays, kids' holidays, uh, and the weekends. And it's about actually being patient sometimes. Do you know what I mean? Yes, you can start it in the morning and have it where you want it at one o'clock, if that's what you want. But really, you can't just do what you want when you want. It kind of commands that you... Is that the right temperature? It is. Okay, let's go. And I kind of like that. It's sort of making people a little bit more patient. The addiction continues. A little, a little chilly, just to put a smile on my face. So there you go. So I've got the fire at one side, right? I've got it floured underneath. And I'm gonna go in and notice that action. So you don't want, if you just go, <laughs> it's just gonna fall all over the place. You'll have stuff stuck everywhere and you'll get upset and then you'll blame me. Flour it, dough. Obviously you don't wanna make the pizza too big. And you just jiggy, 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 jiggy. <sighs> That's at about 450 at the moment. I could push that to 500. You know, 500, you're gonna cook that in about a minute. What's gonna happen, and this will never happen in a conventional oven, is that incredible heat on the bottom and the top is gonna make the water in that dough go, ah! So you're gonna see these like ripples and these bumps, and you're gonna see like cheese, like dancing like that. And like that, you can't, you can't rip that off in an electric oven. Keep an eye on the dough that faces the, the fire, right? because it will catch. Sometimes you can use your peel as a deflector and sort of hold it there like that. Because remember, it's only gonna cook in, in a minute and a half. So, you know, if you're holding it like that for 30 seconds, it ain't gonna hurt you. Soon as that pizza's kind of set a little bit, then again, you go in with a shh, shh, shh. Right, and then we can peel it out and we can turn it around. Right, see that color? I could have taken it out 20 seconds before, but I was too busy talking to you lot. You want to take meats and fish and dough a little bit too far. You don't want you to burn it. Wood ovens are not about like anemic food. It's like proper attitude. It's like, whoosh. it's it's char. It's flavour. It's smoke. Look, we're there. We come out again. Maybe one third time, three turns. And like making your first pancake. That's my first pizza of the day. You know, in 10 minutes, the temperature will just have softened slightly and it'll just take a little bit longer to cook. Brilliant, you find your sweet spot. It's not just fire management, it's wood management. Don't just have massive bits of wood. You know, have some big bits. They'll burn for a long time. Then have some medium-sized bits. Look at that. In your own home. Nothing that arrives in a box will have that texture, will have that flavour. Look at that dancing cheese on there, absolutely beautiful. Little salad, beautiful dinner.